good wave. Jeez. Okay. Gonna have to favor the left, that's for sure. All right, we got one more coming in. Actually, gnarly. I'm gonna wait till one more breaks and then I'm gonna zoom off to the left. Here it comes. Morning everybody, foggy one here. It has been way too long. Boat's uh, finished with repairs. Seems like it's doing all right. I don't feel any water on my feet yet. Um, we've got a crab pot that's been soaking for 12 days. I really hope it's still where I left it. Um, so we're gonna go out there, we're gonna check that. Hopefully it's loaded up full of crabs. We're gonna move it to a closer location. It's about four miles offshore right now. So we got a little bit of a distance to travel. So we're gonna move it a little bit closer and then we're gonna try to check out some rockfish, stock up on some more carcasses to keep the crab pot full. All right, hopefully we'll get some lingcod and hopefully we'll limit out on some rockfish. Hopefully we'll be doing better than last time, that's for sure. All right, stay tuned. Beautiful morning. So today is supposed to be four to five foot swell. The wind is down though, and the wind is what I'm really most concerned with. So hopefully when we get out there, it won't be too bad. Still here! Woo! Gotta be some crabs in there. And it's right on the mark too. And I don't use very much weight. All right. Okay. Before we get too close, I'm gonna get to set up the net. I don't have a gaff. You know what? I'm a glove up. I learned my lesson. And I can already see brown stuff, which could be jelly slime. And that jelly slime stinks. Especially if you get it in the wrong spot. It's usually the tender skin areas that it stings the most. All right. Okay, back to the pool. There's a good way to wake up in the morning. Ugh. Pull a crab pot up. From 150 feet. Without a puller. Where's all the color? Somebody stole my shit. <sighs> or they all got loose. <sighs> wow. Well, what do you expect? 12 days? Oh man, I thought I'd be safer out here uh, four miles out. All right, so we got some squid strips and we're putting these on a high-low rig. Just basically just two hooks one on bottom and one right above I set my uh, weight just a few inches below the bottom hook seems like uh, you get the most bites on the bottom hook so I try to stay close to the sand 
Mm, there's a little water coming in. Oh my goodness. This thing. <sighs> All right. This is my homemade scent container. I'm just gonna fill it full of uh, ant chopped up anchovies. And then I got some sardine oil. Should probably squirt that in there in the middle. That way it doesn't come out too fast. I don't know if super gel is the way to go or if oil is better. Mm, sardine. All right, and then we got this little rubber o-ring and we just zip tie that to the top. So I was gonna eat this, but it sat in the fridge for a little bit too long. So now it's crab bait. We, will it fit? Hell yeah, it'll fit. Just stab them up a little bit. Get some good uh, particulates in the water. Water in the boat. I might actually have to use the bilge pump. That sucks. Well, we're gonna do uh, what we can today. Make the best of it. Try to drop this crab pot. We're gonna move in a couple miles and then uh, target some rockfish and see how the boat's doing. All right. Scent chamber, bait. Could could be more, but we're doing a short soak today. Oh my goodness. No drama, man. I'm feeling pretty sick. Oh. Yep. That's seasick number two. Second time on this boat. Oh, I thought I'd be okay last time I didn't take drama, mean. The swell's a little heavier today. All right, so. Got the crab pot over and now I got a little room to work. We got the bilge pump. I think I'm gonna hook it in line with my, uh, with my navigation light or my, uh, yeah, my little white light back here so that when I turn the flip on, the bilge pump goes on. All right, hopefully that'll make the most of today. If we keep leaking, we're gonna have to go in early again. And of course I brought my brand new shoes Man, salt water just kills shoes. Snaggle number one. Just lost a 10 ounce weight. Darn it. And a hook. Lots of little guys, huh? It's the first fish I've caught on this diamond jig. <laughs> I expected it to be bigger. It is a little strange. Here's another one, the, another one of those browns, and they got those orange stripes on their face. I don't know if that's a seasonal thing because I've never noticed that before. 
Man, this guy got all three hooks. Uh, it's the biggest one so far. Starry, still in the small range. And land has disappeared. Lucy still got blue sky. All right, all right. Finally, something that feels good. Not that good, but something that feels better than the little guys. We'll see. Hey, there's an eater. Barely. I believe this is a gopher. Yeah. See the pink splotches. Yep. All right. Bunk them. Bleed them. Still need a few more of those to make some tacos. Ooh, one after the next. As soon as slack tide hits, the fish start biting. Don't believe everything everybody tells you. And they're getting a little bigger. One more gopher. Maybe we'll waypoint this gopher town, huh? Look at this guy just puked up. There's a big crab arm there. Huh. Little bit bigger. Making my way to dinner. Okay, so that last one makes six rockfish. Six small rockfish. Uh, we got three of them. We did not bleed out. Those are going to be dedicated towards crab bait. And then from the rest, uh, from here on out, they're going to be keepers going for dinner. So we got four left. Total uh, is 10 rockfish per person per day. That's your limit. Okay, it's about 1.15 right now. As predicted, the wind is picking up. I don't want to be out here too much longer, at least not in the deep water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check the crab pot. It's been about five hours soaking right now. I'm, uh, you know, Empty it out, hopefully, and uh, put some of those rockfish in the bait trap. Then we're going to leave it uh, for about three days. We'll be back here on Saturday to check on it. All right, so let's move on out and check the pot. Not what we're 
Alright, Todd. Welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna take three rockfish that we did not bleed out, and we're gonna open up the crab pot, throw it in the bait box. We're gonna move in a little bit uh, more shallow and uh, toss it back over. All right. We're just going to stab them a little. Look at that scent drifting. Alright, so there's... It's going to be our bait for a two-day soak, three-day soak. There it is, all full. Here's hoping. This is some pretty big swell. It's slow rolling though, but it feels at least five or six feet. Can't even see land when it starts rolling back. Right through the nose bone. All right, that didn't take long. Oh. Biggest one today. Maybe. Maybe. Just a little too big for lane cod bait. Maybe not, but I'm just going to keep them. Ooh, this one's not quite as pink. Well, this is a gopher too, I think. Gopher or copper, I forget. This one doesn't have the lateral line. It's not quite as pink either. 65 feet, anchovy. Lots of stuff going on, but nobody's biting. All right, we're calling it a day. It's 315. We got seven rock fish today, all pretty small. We're still waiting on those big fish. Been out here the last three times and we're still waiting on those big fish. Three weeks left of the rockfish season, so hopefully it happens soon. We'll be back out here next Saturday to pull the crab pot and try again. All right. Beautiful sky today. A little bit weird weather. But uh, I'm happy the wind never picked up. All right, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, place a comment. Give me some uh, tips, some hints. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what uh, kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Share with your friends and subscribe. All right, till next time.